Hello students, so welcome to another second language English class. So today we are going to start um, unit 2 of lesson number 3 that is the passing away of Bapu by Nayantara Segal. Now after completing um, lesson number 1, why straight away to lesson number 3? Because the lesson number 2 and the unit 1 of lesson number 3 has already been completed. It was, I completed those lessons, those classes in the initial phases of the lockdown. So, if you want to revise uh, lesson number 2 and unit 1 of lesson number 3, the we can, I can send you the link of those two videos in the group and if you don't have any access to the group, uh, you can go to uh, SMI Heroes Network and watch those two chapters, two classes over there. So now, today we'll start lesson number two of the passing away of Bapu. Now before going to lesson number uh, unit 2 of this lesson let us quickly recap what happened in lesson number uh, sorry in unit 1 of this lesson number 3 now the Nayantara Segal is the narrator over here and when unit 1 starts she hears the shocking news of uh, Gandhiji's death so Gandhiji had been shot while going for a prayer meeting. So then the news of Bapuji's death uh, spreads like wildfire and then uh, the entire nation comes to know about the death of, Gandhi, of their beloved Bapuji. And now the, in Unit 1, the people of India are mourning the death of Bapuji and they are forced to face the fact that their Bapuji is no longer with them. So this is where unit one, how unit one ends. Now let us start unit two. So I'm going to read the text and then explain it. Gandhiji's funeral was to take place the day after his death. Hours in advance, people lined the route, the lined the route, the funeral procession was to follow. So Gandhiji's funeral was to take place the next day. And hours before the funeral procession of Gandhiji's started, people had already lined, people had already come out on the streets to watch the funeral procession of their beloved Bapuji. Padmasi, Mrs. Naidu's daughter, spoke for us all when she, when she said simply, we will walk. It is the last time we shall be walking with Bapu. Now here, the narrator talks about Padmasi. Now Padmasi, or her actual name was Padmaza Naidu. She was the eldest daughter of Sarojini Naidu, um, one of a famous um, Indian freedom fighters, Sarojini Naidu, played an important role in the India's struggle for freedom from uh, colonial rule. So, Padmasi was the eldest daughter of Sarojini Naidu. Now, Padmasi was inspired, was very much inspired by her mother, Sarojini Naidu, so she also became a political activist and took active part in the India struggle for freedom. She was also jailed in 19, uh, she was also jailed for her role in the Quit India movement of 1942. In 1956, she became the, she was appointed the governor of West Bengal. She became the uh, she became the first longest serving female governor of West Bengal. 
So this is about Padmasi, daughter of Sarojini Naidu. So she spoke for all those who were present on the funeral of Gandhiji. So she simply said that they are going to walk. It is the last time we shall be walking with Bapu. So she said she made the decision that they are going to walk on that particular day because it will be the last time they shall be walking with Bapu. It was an agonizing walk. Thousands silently watched the procession. Bapu lay on an open truck covered with flowers. So it was an agonizing walk. It was not the normal walk which they used to do when Gandhiji was alive. Now they were walking with their beloved Bapuji, the father of the nation for the last time. That is why it was a very painful walk for them. So thousands of people uh, attended the funeral of Gandhiji and thousands of people watched, silently watched the funeral procession as it went by. Bapu, the dead body of Bapu was laid on an open truck and it was covered with flowers. Thousands of people wept, thousands of people cried, trying to touch Bapu's feet. So the funeral, the street was very much crowded because thousands of people were had attended the funeral of Bapuji. Thousands of people, they were crying and they were trying to touch the feet of Bapu. It was impossible to move in the thick crowd. So the crowd was so big, so huge that it was almost impossible to move in the thick crowd. As I moved forward slowly, I understood I was not merely in the midst of grieving people. So as the narrator walked forward, she understood that she was not merely in the middle of this mourning people. This was even more than the funeral procession of India's beloved leader. This was something bigger than the funeral procession of the India's beloved leader. I was among people for whom walking with Bapu had a special meaning. Now why it was not just a mere funeral procession? Because for most of the people, walking with Bapu had a, held a special meaning. We had walked over with Bapu over the rough and smooth of India's recent history because they had followed, the people of India had followed Bapuji in the ups and downs of India's recent history. We could not now accept the fact that the man who had led us over many difficult paths was never going to walk with us again. So they cannot, the narrator as well as the people. Now you have to keep one thing in mind that the narrator over here that is Nayantara Segal is voicing, is venting out the voice of the entire nation, alright. So how she feels or how the entire nation feels is that they could not, it was difficult for them to face the fact that the, the person who had led them through so many difficult times was not going to walk with them anymore. So it was something which they were unable to accept. It was something which they were unable to cope with. To walk, eh? Bapu's slight figure had walked staff in hand. Now staff over here means the walking stick of Bapuji in hand over a large part of India. So Bapuji's lean figure had walked with a, he had held, while walking he had held a staff, walking stick along with him and had covered most parts of India. So to walk is to make slow progress. So the writer vents out her personal feeling by saying that to walk is to make slow progress. 
It is to think with clarity and closely look at all that is around you, from small insects to the horizon in the distance. So the writer says that to walk is to make slow progress because when you walk, wait, so when walking becomes a mode of transportation, you can clearly observe the things. Clarity over here means ability to think clearly. So you can clearly think right, while walking. You get ample time or opportunity to think, to ponder upon certain issues. While in a car, while traveling by in a car or by train, the view or the scenery flashes by quickly. So you will not be able to enjoy the view or to admire the view. So, but while walking, you can observe the minute details. So because of that, according to writer, she says to walk is to make slow progress because you can, you get ample time to think very clearly. Moreover, so while walk, moreover, while walking, you can observe small things very close to you like the insects and the things which are far away from you like the horizon in the distance. Moreover, to walk was often the only way open to the average Indian. So moreover, further, uh, walking was the only means of transport for most of the people at that time. Right. So it required no vehicle except his own body and cost him, nothing, cost him nothing but his energy. Now most of the people during that time preferred to walk because um, it required no vehicle. So no vehicle means no giving away cash. So you don't ask people for money for those people who walk. So it required no vehicle. The only thing that walking required was his own energy. Now Gandhiji took this necessity as he took much that was commonplace and transformed it into a joyful effort. So commonplace over here means ordinary. So Gandhiji made walking essential, right? something like compulsory and turned this a painful walk, this ordinary thing, into a very joyful, into something joyful. Right. That is why many people followed him through many parts of India. You all know very much, uh, very well about the famous Dandi March, which Gandhi had made. Now with this, unit 2 of lesson number 3, that is, passing away of Bapu ends over here. So as usual you have the comprehension exercises which you have to do and apart from these comprehension exercises I will give you, I will send the, pic the picture, the photos of the other exercises which you have to do. So you after doing these exercises you can send the exercises which we have done to my personal WhatsApp number. Right? So with this we end this class. Thank you.